Hello, everyone. I have a coffee cup that I like to show you how to make this just on your uh, scoreboard without having to use a punch board. And uh, you can use it for coffee. You can use it for hot cocoa tea. This has hot cocoa tea, cookies, a spoon in there. And you can see that you still got quite a bit of room that you could put some more stuff in. You could put a small gift, put a tag on here. Um, you could do quite a bit of different stuff with it that keeps falling down. But I'm going to show you, first of all, you're going to need a nine and a half, four and a half piece of paper. What you're going to do on the nine and a half side, I'm going to score this at one and a half, three. Four and a half, six, and seven and a half, and nine. So that's scoring at one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine. Then you're going to turn your paper and I think I grabbed the wrong one which I did because that's the four that's not four and a half sorry about that I grabbed the wrong piece I thought I had that one there I must not have we'll, just, we'll grab another one we'll grab this one you get two out of a, a a piece of paper so we'll start over this will make a smaller one i can make a smaller cup at one way though okay so we're going to cut this at nine and a half sorry about that i must have cut that other one for the handle i grabbed the wrong piece that's what happens when you don't pay attention i don't sometimes and i grab the wrong piece so that's nine and a half by four and a half I need a new blade. Bad. So I got a little piece here. I'm just going to trim that off because my thing caught it. Okay, so we'll go back and do this again. So this is nine and a half by four and a half. On the nine and a half inch side, we will score this at one and a half. Three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine. And then we're going to turn it to the four and a half inch side, and we're going to score this at three inches. So now, we won't need this anymore. We'll set that aside. You can see where all the scores are. Marks. We're going to fold uh, those all and, and varnish them real good. So we're going to fold them. This is pretty uh, easy to make. You can make a lot of these for, I mean, Easter gifts. You could put some Easter ears on it and a bunny face and make them into a bunny cup. And I might do that. That's kind of a cool idea. And then the last one. So now what you should do is flip it over. And where, th where this little, this is your small side right here the about half inch we're going to cut that little notch out this little notch right here so i'm going to take that and i'm going to cut that out 
And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to angle the corner a little bit. So when we fold it in on both ends, just a smidge. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to cut up to this score line right here. Don't go past that. Only cut to that on each one of these little spots there you'll see. So you'll cut the first one. And you're just going to go right to that score line. The next one to the score line. The next one. The next one. And then the last one. So now what you need to do is you need to take some tape or glue, whichever you prefer, and put it on there. I like to give you one of those tape guns. I'm going to put uh, two pieces on here since mine is kind of thin and narrow. I'm going to rub that down so that it sticks real good. And then I'm going to peel it off. These are super easy to make and fast. And you don't need the punch board. There is one to do with a punch board, too. We're just going to bring that over. And where this is, we're going to line that up to there and there. And we're going to press that down. The next thing we're going to do to kind of keep it round, if you want, um, you could use um, a ribbon thing. I kind of just put it in here a little bit. This one's not as deep. We're going to um, fold these over. This kind of helps you hold it, too. And I'm going to put glue on these. Or you can use tape, whatever you like. I don't know if my glue... Uh, it kind of helps hold it up and press. It gives you something uh, to press it to. I gotta, let me grab another bottle. I think that one's just about used up. So you take one of the flaps. And remember, you don't have to do this. You could set it on the table and do it but this gives you something kind of to push it on and you're just going to bring that fold over rub it really good and move around you know uh the circle here we're going to bring that one in i'm going to put a little glue on this end little bit on there and then I'm going to put some glue up around here on the sides I'm not going to put none in right in the middle because there's a hole there and I'm just going to work it around to try to keep it kind of round and then my bone folder and go inside and kind of rub it to make sure that it stays and if you want to cover up the bottom of this, all you need to do is what I did was I took, that's probably where I got my other piece of paper messed up because I took the one that I probably was using. And I just traced around this. And let me get up here so I can see. And then this way you gotta um, you could cover up the bottom. So just freehand cut that. And 
and we'll put that on the bottom like that. I don't want to put that on yet. I have to see which way I traced it because they're all different. All right, that's the way it goes. So now we're going to bring our scoreboard back out. And we're going to take a one inch strip. And then we're going to score that one inch strip on a half an inch all the way down. And I'm going to cut this off at about 10 inches. Cut the bad end off. Because this is going to be our handle. So now all we need to do just fold that over and crease it. And then we need to put some tape in there. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Sorry I didn't notice you came in. You just peel this off. Take the bone folder and rub that back down. And then I'm going to take the bone folder and I'm just going to kind of break the fiber down a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go about two inches on here. I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to, first I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this across the bottom of the cup and see where I want to make my fold. And then I'm going to fold this. Because we're going to glue that to the bottom so that's going to give us a really sturdy handle. Up at the top, fold it about a half an inch and crease it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this bottom all up so that we can put the handle on there and put the, um, the, the cover up sheet here. You can use glue if you want, I mean, tape runner. So now that I'm going to put this on here, I don't want to put it on the seam. So there's my seam. I want to kind of put it in the middle of one of these. So I got that and the fold is right on the edge. So I want to put a little more glue on here too, because that way it'll stick to the bottom of this paper here. And I just gotta, I moved it around. There we go. That way it does secure that in there. Rub it down. If you have a little hangover, sometimes I do because I don't cut it close enough. I just trim it off. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to um, bring this up right here about an inch. And then I'm going to fold this again. So I'm going to fold it backwards about an inch. I got about a half an inch, I'm sorry, because it'll be up too high with an inch. Okay, so now I got that folded backwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little hole in here with my little pokey tool. You can just glue this if you want to, but I am going to put some glue on it too, but I want to um, put a little pokey hole because I'm going to put a brad there, but I am going to put some glue. That way it all holds really good. And let's see, we'll pick a brad out. I might have a purple one, I do. I can get it. And I'm going to put the brad in there. And that'll really 
secure this handle if you put something heavy in there. And I'm just going to open it up in the inside. Okay, so now it should look like this. Now we're going to bring this handle like this. And if you want your handle shorter, all you got to do is cut it down, which this one does need to be a lot shorter. And just fold over another half an inch. So you just play with your strip for as long as you want your handle. So that looks like a good size um, handle for there. So I'm going to put some glue on there. And you could put another brad in here if you want. It's up to you. I think we might put another brad and then we'll really have it to where it holds. You don't have to. The other one I didn't. I only put one brad at the bottom. Let's see if we got another purple. And, oh, I do. I think that's why I, on the other one I didn't have another one. That one. These are real tiny brads too. And that's how you make your cup with no punch board. And these are really nice. Like I said, you could put a Easter Bunny face in there. You could um, do quite a bit of different things with that. And uh, see. Hi, Lisa. Yes, I will be posting this video. Thanks, Mary Ellen. Yeah, I just know, was reading as I have a hard, bad time about not paying attention to the comments when I'm in the middle of the crafting. But yes, this once this goes and it uploads and stuff, it will post. It's super easy to make. I think it um, is really cute. If I would have had some more of my little rabbit cutouts, I'd have put that on there. But I don't think I have any more. I think I gifted them off. I did a bunch of them cut out and I gifted them. But I think he would be cute with a little rabbit face on him and stuff and some ears in the back. But these cups are easy. These would be good. You know, like I said, Easter candy mugs. You could put some little Easter grass in there, some little candy. Um... Christmas mugs, whatever you want to use them for, they'd be really good. These are pretty pretty easy. Um, if you wanted to put something in the bottom to cover that, you could probably just, like I did, you know, do another die cut, cut it, and put it down in there. But it seems to be okay in holding together. And all I did was trace the bottom to make the bottom fit. Yeah, I, I think uh, I'm going to make one of these uh, for the lady I take care of and my boss, other boss. I have a couple different bosses because I work a couple different jobs. But um, the treasurer I work for, she's my boss. And I think I'll make her one. And this would be even cute with one of those little mini plants to hand to somebody to give it to them. It's really cute. You could match podge it and then it would be, I mean, it would stay really good if you put a plan or something in there but yeah that's really super easy to make um i'm gonna uh do this uh an envelope punch board <clears throat> video next so it's making um some mini boxes oh, i got away over here looking at the computer and going towards that so if you're in back and watch the uh, next video that I'm going to do. Yeah, I like the plan idea too. I think it, it's kind of cute. They have those like mini cactuses and those little 
um, little tiny uh, pots or I've seen real little mini so I think that would be really cute in there. It's just different ideas. Is you know you don't have to stick to it being like a hot cocoa or a coffee or a tea mug. There's just so many different ideas. Um, you could make it into a a flower pot even with um, your own stems in here. Like uh, make some leaves and then put some cut some flowers and then. Put a saying on the front even. Yeah, it's it is so super easy. I mean, it's just a nine and a half by four and a half paper, and you know, your score in the nine and a half side at one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, and nine. And then you flip it and you score it at one, and you just got a little bit of cutting, and boom, it's done. And then you just you know, make a one inch handle and score it at a half an inch and then determine how long you would like it. Yeah, I've made these for Mother's Day gift before. Uh, for the nursing home, I put uh, tea and tea cookies and uh, stuff like this uh, in them for uh, the nursing home. I've done that in a little spoon. They've really liked it. I've done that before. And I'll probably, I'm going to see my mom this year for Mother's Day. It's It's been a few years since I've gotten to see her. And I'm going to go down there and I'm going to, I'm making her a bunch of stuff. Because uh, normally by the time you ship stuff through the mail, for instance, I, I mailed her a money order for, a postal money order for Christmas. And she didn't get it and she didn't get it and she didn't get it. And I kept having this bad <clears throat> thing that I figured it was going to get lost. So I turned around and sure enough, it was lost in the mail. I applied for a lost money order. I got it back about two days ago. She called me and said that she had received it. So I had told her to destroy it. And what I did was turned around and just did Walmarts to Walmarts from now on. But I've been working on some swaps and then uh, Andrea, um, Strobo, from, she made a wish, so I granted her wish here. Um, she wanted some stamp sentiments, so I was able to do that and grant her wish. And I've just been done with a few things when I get time. I've really lost some of my motivation with all the hours that I work, and I come home, I'm just exhausted. So I'm trying to get back into getting some a couple videos, and then my son's staying with us, so... He's been camping in my craft room, and I feel like I'm really, you know, invading in his privacy and stuff, even though it's my craft room. So when he's gone or doing something, then I come up here and do stuff. He's like, tell, he tells me just throw him out. He doesn't mind, but uh, sometimes he sits here and watches me craft, but I just feel like I'm invading on him. Oh, Debbie. You don't have to send me nothing, honest. You know, I, I don't. If I've got so much crap, I I do got to do a giveaway here real soon because I got a basket full of stuff that I need to get rid of, and I do have. Um, I think it's I got three of those. Uh, um, what do you call them? They're like the Stamp Perfect, but they're from um, BB Crafts. They work really good like that, and I want to give those away. Yeah, I got. I I'm gonna um, go so that I can get the other video up uh, before my husband gets done plowing out there. We've been having snow like crazy, and then he yells at me that I'm hogging the internet. <laughs> so we have, we have real poor internet here. So we'll talk to you all in a little bit. And thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. And I hope you all have a blessed day. And we'll see you soon here. Thank you.